Hello guys, welcome back to Dark Messenger Channel for Final Fantasy Brave Xperia's video And this video is for series boss battle We fight Chaotic of Darkness from FFBE And I pick Zeno of the Beta Star as the damage dealer And this is the very strong Zeno equipping to Searing Ember So the Searing Ember is uh, Zeno STMR has uh, passive 75% uh, human killer and then uh, don't forget to equip the stats element resistance and this Sino has this uh, disagreement okay this is from my companion let's take a quick look for my unit equipment first I'm using awakened rain if we uh, must buff water and darkness is over 175% and this is my Sarga but as main buffer by using the holy elemental weapon this will help um, our battle for dealing holy damage and also prompto as breaker 65% uh, attack and magic break and equipping the holy elemental weapon by using stuff because I need it if uh, incoming attack comes to prompto and that's my STMR prompto executioner and this stuff has a holy elemental weapon Don't forget to equipping benefited necessary for sealing incoming graphica attack from um, chaotic darkness and this is my Zeno using Muramasa from Scorn of Gilgamesh and has a killer passive killer and also ultima weapon from Kyo STMR and I'm equipping Man Eater Plus for passive killer and then um, last one is my lotus mesh vina and also equipping with holy elemental weapon and also tinkerer bow and some of elemental resist and don't forget to uh, have some resist on dark elemental because the enemy can deal AOE dark physical attack that ignores your um, provoke or physical AOE cover and this is all my party stats and let's go to the battle Alright guys, this is the first turn, as usual if we fight the enemy, let's try to break um, attack and magic first from uh, Prompto, Starshell and Circular Soul, this will uh, break attack and magic 65% and we already deal the holy damage using Prompto Circular Soul and from awakened rain i'm start to provoke using stand out this is three turn provoke but there is some attack that ignores provoke uh, from chaotic darkness but it's okay and next we start with buffing our party using lotus mage Vina, double lotus magic uh, divine feel and also shiny cheer to have our party uh, HP regeneration and some of elemental buff from Divine Field and from Sargabat I start using Arcadian Light to prevent um, stats element and from Zeno I start to use dual 
uh, blade art. Perfect for it, and let's debuff the fire elemental using scorch. And the other one is perfect void, and then perfect void. using Viragas Less. Viragas Less, this will imbue this Zeno with Fire Elemental. Alright, we deal on the first turn and let's see. On the second turn, let's try to use oops, just fire a gas less, fire a gas less on both Zeno. This means uh, our Zenos, two Zenos, has imbued with fire elemental, and we can deal a huge damage to chaotic darkness because he has been uh, oops, the okay, eye manual press. Uh, let's cast it in the fire gas less and um, we have already debuffed 100% of uh, his fire resistance and from awakened rain out using energy wall for aoe magic cover and then from sargabat let's use word of low this deal the holy magic damage and also uh, mitigate 30% of our um, damage and from Lotus Match Fina let's use Matotopia and Shining Cheer from Prompto don't forget to use Manifested Netherside to seal the enem incoming enemy's magic let's see On the third turn, let, let's try to strike using Obliterating Mirror of Equity Roar and let's chain it. Let's see how much damage. And okay, we get 86%. This means in the next turn, we can pass the threshold. The threshold is on 80%. So I must cast this Star Shell and Zero Scholar Soul again and also dealing the holy damage there and from awakened rain using complete awakening this will buff 200% of all his stats and from sargabat i'm start to using a prismatic barrier the lotus mesh fina has tried to use uh, aoe rise from using his her lb Let's cast this prismatic barrier. This will buff 60% of all our elemental buff and also all stats break immunity. On 4th turn, I think I can bypass the threshold here and from Awakened Rain, let's reset the same thing as the third one using Stand Out to Provoke and let's see the stats element here as you can see, all my party has been uh, debuffed the element resistance so in this turn, I'm going to use True Mirror of Equity this will deal a huge damage and unlock Sino Oops Sino Triple Cast. Let's see how much damage there. Mm, good. 67%. And from Sargabat, I'm going to heal Pronto using Rejuvenate. And the other one, maybe my Zeno as a backup healer because 
Prompto must use uh, many factors at the site. So, um, Dr. Smash Fina will deal uh, holy damage there. But let's buff our party first using um, Divine Field and let's cast Sacred Burst. Okay, nice. Let's use the mini factor at the side to seal the incoming Rafiga attack. As you can see, there is an incoming attack that cannot be provoked by Awakened Rain. So, my Sino die. And let's cast uh, Energy Wall from Awakened Rain. And my since my Sino die, so uh, this Sino cannot do the triple cast. But it's okay. Let's see another way. Mm, let's start using. Lotus Mage Fina using Divine Field to buff uh, stats 120% of stats buff and also 50% of all elemental buff so in this turn I think I must deal the holy damage and then uh, deal um, I must cast fire glass less and okay it's the deal let's see the enemy we have still one more turn use double blade art and then let's strike using fire glass less and obliterating mirror of equity's roar it's the same deal but I'm using only this one on obliterating mirror of equity roar no 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 we will do the same fire against less obliterating mirror of equity roar and let's debuff mm, fire elemental resist resistance on chaotic darkness and from lotus match vina mm, maybe i'm going to use shining cheer let's okay still attack and magic still break let's see how much damage oh not the perfect chain 63 percent okay all right all right this i'm using i'm going to use mini fated data site again from sargabat let's request the re-rise on my Zeno and also sargabat himself okay this turn we survive because uh, the incoming holy attack this will stun the chaotic darkness from for one turn this means in this turn let's break again uh, using star shell from prompto and holy damage uh, using circular swap so in this turn hmm, let's use lb uh, zeno lb okay nice let's use from 63 down to 51 percent this means uh, still not passing the threshold so let's cast the complete awakening from awakened rain and then sargabat must cast okay the prismatic barrier still cool down Okay, let's use LB 
some of damage mitigation and also all stats buff around 150 percent and then from lotus page fina um, i'm going to use okay let's see the re-raise here the re-raise tail on there is one more turn so let's cast shining tear and divine field As you can see, in this turn, uh, Chaotic Darkness is remove our stats element resistance. So let's use Prime Heal to cure uh, Blind and also Poison and deal the holy damage from Fina by using Sacred Burst. But in this turn, let's try to strike using Sino. This mean has full power of ability of mirror of equity let's see how much damage okay down to 33 percent this means our attack is um, seven, uh, 70 percent so after passing the threshold we must cast don't forget to cast many affected meta side and this is the most important thing because if you don't use uh, the ceiling magic ability as will come the incoming graphic attack from awaken rain as the uh, same as turn one using provoke standout ability and from sargabat don't forget to cast the prismatic barrier to prevent the incoming uh, attack and magic break as you can see reserve five from the threshold attack and my sino is still okay so let's check the stats. Now the true mirror of equity is uh, already set, already cooled, uh, cooled down. Let's use it down to 20%. This means uh, there's an incoming threshold attack again so we must cast another manifested exercise from prompto and awaken rain on turn 8 this means the same on turn 2 let's recast the energy wall the uh, rotation on the, uh, every three turn on awaken rain don't forget it and from sarga but i think i must use uh, arcadian might to prevent not prevent but to mitigate incoming damage and also buff our stats all of our stats 130 percent from lotus match vina i think hmm, what must i do let's see the erase is the erase still on use what hold the attack okay this means mm, I'm not going to use the ability maybe um, to cast Juraja and then hold it. okay and from Tomto use the main affected native side
Alright uh, So in this turn we can use triple blade art from both of our Xeno So let's triple class Triple cast the obliterating mirror of equity roar And let's use try Let's try to use uh, Lotus Mage Vina LB Because the mission is to kill this chaotic darkness by using LB and let's use let's see the mission here. Okay, we already deal lots of holy damage there. Let's catch ability mirror of equity and okay I can think I can hear let's press it boom okay and we kill chaotic darkness with limit burst so in this battle in this battle uh i think there's a luck because the chaotic darkness attack some of his attack cannot be provoked or covered so uh, thank you guys for watching and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel and see you guys on the next video bye bye